My name is Dr. Simeo Atabu. I'm Jacqueline Budeo Kituku. I'm Hiram Derito. My name is Wanyama Bonifas, working at the National Commission for Science, Technology and Innovation. I'm a maternal and neonatal health specialist and I'm currently a student under the Moy University Research Chairs Program. I am uh, the, the Research Chair Representative for Manufacturing and Value Addition of uh, coconut. We have come as Mo University a research chairs program and I'm representing the chair. Over the years, Nakosti has supported scientists to do research. Coupled with this is that uh, we have registered several research institutions and when we go there we find that there's a lot of volumes and volumes of research findings. Then the most unfortunate part is that this research does not find its way to the end users. So what we thought is that there is a gap in terms of the training with which the researchers have vis-a-vis -vis how they are able to deliver that to the end users. It's actually in this view that um, we have decided at Nakosti and make a deliberate decision to be able to build capacity of scientists in terms of science communication. The training so far has been good. It has been uh, educative. We've, I've been able to learn a lot. I have learned about um, the seven principles of communication. I've also been able to learn about the message mapping. First of all, you need to develop the key messages. And we were taught a, a rule of 3-30-30, which had never occurred in my thinking before and we were told three messages make it short so making it short is not more than 30 words and 30 seconds so if you have you identify one key message then you have to you need to come up with three supporting facts of course they are supported by evidence and i thought that was very impactful i've also been able to learn uh, how to engage in the media, uh, especially when I'm uh, interacting with the journalist through a press conference and also in case of a press interview. I've learned quite a lot. Key things that I must point out that um, I have um, achieved as a person. One is about policy briefs. Of course, of course we do policy briefs uh, very often. And that is one area that I can go confidently say I can take home. The second thing that I want to say personally I learned was uh, packaging uh, scientific information in a form of, of a story that would appeal um, to the general populace. And then of course the last thing that um, I want to say I'm going to take home is uh, on how to handle issues of um, press briefing Again, that was uh, a very challenging area, an area that we've not handled before. And again, I want to say that uh, we've learned quite a lot practically as well. We went through the training and we were able to, 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 <coughs> to demonstrate that um, uh, uh, some of the weaknesses that we have had in the past were able to be, to be addressed. Actually, when I came in, I, I didn't think that I would benefit quite a lot from the program because uh, as a scientist, as a researcher, I thought there's a lot that I know. We do a lot of presentations uh, in workshops, in uh, international conferences, regional conferences. We do a lot of consultancies. But I think we have been talking more to ourselves than to, to the public. Uh, science communication has given me an opportunity to come off from the ivory tower, so to say, uh, in order to then be able to uh, know how to make policy briefs uh, to those who can be able to uh, assist us. Uh, it has taught us quite a bit about how just to uh, develop a message uh, that can be able to reach some audience. As a team leader in my project, the training that I have received will enable me to especially interact with the policy makers. That is one uh, benefit which I am um, seeing. Number one, I think just making use of what we have learned uh, in terms of uh, 
improving the visibility of, 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 of the university research chairs project. But obviously when we get to workshops, I think it, it really has uh, enabled us now to look at the bigger picture on what do we say in workshops, what do we say to the policy makers, what do we say to, to, to the community, uh, what do we say to the media, um, in a very concise, a very, very clear, uh, and yet, uh, you know, being able to uh, push the agenda. The trainers were exciting, very informative, very interactive, and very knowledgeable. Quite balanced in terms of gender, <laughs> very interactive, and I found them very, very excellent. The trainers, I can say they are on top of the job.